Hercules, what have you done? Silvius! Why did you kill that man? I assure you I do not. Why have you come here? Well, that does not sound like something I would do. How long ago was this? The Senate has outlawed our gatherings, it's true, but only because they don't understand. They've given in to populist sentiment and slanderous rumors, that's all. Nothing we do here is wrong. Listen, I'm certain we can come to some sort of agreement. You are bereaved. Do you seek compensation? Get your hands off me! The bitch killed Sylvia! She's mad! Stop her! You want to try me too? I will kill you all if I must.
one more. Should not be any trouble. I would never. Find your clothes and get out. Domine. Though it pains me to say goodbye again so soon, your promotion to proconsul is a great thing for our family. It's a very profitable position. To Egypt? By Juno, I could not be away from my garden for so long. I will come and visit you from time to time, of course. Of course, dear. Is there anything I can help you with?
Excuse me. Is everything well, dear? Another round? On me. You're right. I don't come here as often as I used to, for obvious reasons. But there's no denying the man still has the best wine in the city. It's also significantly more difficult than being a Centurio. Especially considering your soldiers are there to die on your command. That's their duty. When it comes to family, your duty is keeping them alive. That's day and night difference right there. Why did you bring him up? Honestly, I don't give a shit. He deserved to suffer. Wouldn't undo the damage he has done, though. I feel fine as it is. Don't get me wrong. I would love to have an opportunity to wrap my hands around Retellius Loco's neck. But that seems highly unlikely now that he's a consul. Besides, it would not bring Lucullus back. You think so? Well, it comes with the territory, I guess. Domestic and carefree life adds another kind of weight on your shoulders. Or your belly. What was that? Something serious seems to be happening outside. We'd better take a look. Let me grab my sword. are attacking Rome, but that's suicidal. Domine, your mother may be in danger. We should check on her.
As you wish. Are you stupid? Where is my wife? They're killing everyone. Mahercules. They killed him.
You made it. I've brought the others. We cut a sway through the barbarians. None shall stand in our way. This service is alive. Domine! The barbarians are looking for Domina Claudiana. I told them you weren't here. I saw her stab one of the barbarians in the eye and run towards the cellar. At least four? They came out of nowhere. I don't know. My knowledge of their language is limited. They were talking about their Patronus at one point, but I could not catch his name. What if they're not randomly attacking one villa? What if they were sent to take out your family? Sent by who? seen our enemies do stranger things. She was in the study when they came. Which is where your sister went to protect your mother, probably. Don't worry, we'll save them.
Make way! Make way, I said! She lost a lot of blood. It does not look good. We need to keep her warm. Don't worry about it. By the grace of Wester, they were not even in Rome. She's fine. The screaming is good. It means she has enough life in her to be able to scream. It is your sister who worries me. Your mother will be well. Do not worry. As for Liwiana, you should rest. That's the best thing you can do now. The Senate is bound to call a meeting. They'll surely declare war. We already have most of the team back together, except for one. Deianera is in the dungeon awaiting her execution. After this attack, I believe we may have the leverage we need to get her out of there. You should go and sort things out before you head to the Senate. We can't be sure we'll get another chance. They finally let you in. Heard you had been trying to see me. <sighs> I am where I belong. I have caused much harm. <laughs> no. 
Silvius was only one I came for. But it got away from me. He said they were there by own choice. I knew he lied. I thought I was saving them, but they looked at me with exact same fear in their eyes. I hoped this guilt I carry every day would fade when I had vengeance. But still, when I think of her, I feel pressure around my heart. Her name was Tusa. She was two years younger than me. She loved horses more than anything else, and they seemed to love her back. She was my best friend. We braided each other's hair and hunted rabbits. We were always competing together against our brothers. And we always won. I have not followed threefold path of Asha. I have spread grief instead of happiness. I have blackened my soul with evil thought and evil deeds. If I stay here and face my execution, maybe I will be redeemed in the eyes of the wise lord. I have accepted it. Don't you see? That's why I'm here. It seems you understand me better than I understand myself. It is not the same. You bear no blame for those you lost. I do. I wanted to go to the Greek city. I wanted wine and spices and beautiful dresses. She was scared, but I told her I would keep her safe. I was eager and naive, and they exploited it. They lured us with pretty promises and tried to force themselves on us. We fought back. I killed one of them. Then Silvius killed Tusa. Every part of it, every single thing that led to her death was my fault. There is no forgiveness without justice. I would. Of course I would. Maybe it is as you say. I have been running from my past for too long. Fine. You are good at this, you know. Let's go.
As per today's augury... Orcus, take your auguries, Kikoro. The Gauls attacked us. Here, in Rome. Do we really need the gods' opinions to decide on today's relatio? Webius Vitellius Lurco, you will respect the Senate and its procedures. Then the Senate must respect the people of Rome. The Senate is the people of Rome. Our most esteemed senators and officials seem very much alive to my eyes. The same cannot be said for the men and women who were slain in Ostia. My own poor sister-in-law lies dead at the hands of rampaging barbarians. Frankly, I have no idea why her brother is keeping silent. I'd be outraged. I am outraged. My business ventures have nothing to do with this. Control your grief. We all suffered losses. I think it is you who should practice control, Vitellius Lorco. I, for one, am sure he speaks with evidence. This is ridiculous. Are we going to prosecute a consul of Rome? instead of protecting its people. And based on what? A hunch. No valid prima facie presents itself. It is an intriguing hunch nevertheless. It's certainly the topic for another day. I welcome any investigation. My conscience is pure as the first rain of spring. But we are losing precious time, while our enemies, in all likelihood, are plotting their next move. Inaction is exactly what led to this disaster. Senators, Romans, we are the sons of wolves. We are proud as we should naturally be. But in our pride, we have grown docile and meek, allowing jackals to attack us without fear. They were laughing. With blood in their eyes, they've slaughtered our own wives and daughters. And what have we done since then? What are we doing now? Nothing. Nothing but endless debates and discussions. I say the time for philosophers is past. Now is the time for warriors. I say we strike now. We shall encircle them like the wolves we are. I say we attack. What say you? I say cease your populist posturing, Vitellius Lurco. Senators, we are at the heart of our Republic, discussing what's perhaps the most important relatio of this age. And you behave like hysterical And you children. behave like a spoiled child who is trying to wear his father's sandals. Do not test me, Vitellius Lurco. Speak out of turn again, and I shall see you dragged in chains right into the closest dungeon. Watch and know your words, Cicero. You are speaking to a consul of Rome and the representative of its people. You are as well. I hold the Imperium. I alone can determine the course of this discussion. Nothing happens without my consent. That is and why... And maybe that's why this needs to change. What? <laughs> Citizens, 
Friends, I apologize for my outburst, and I apologize to you, Kikoro. I was out of turn indeed. I'm not sure what you're playing. It's my frustration talking. Even though I am your co-consul and still new to this world of politics, you are a man of words, Kikoro. I believe this crisis we're in requires a man of action. For this reason, I propose, with great humility, that this Senate should consider electing me as dictator until this situation ends. I understand your concern. Honestly, I wish I was omnipotent. Then I could bring all of our dead friends back from the depths of Dees. But now, we should focus on preventing more deaths. And we achieve this by attacking Galia? It is difficult for a non-military mind to understand this. War causes death, true. But in this case, it will be to prevent even more death. Obviously, we need to act fast. If every decision is to be discussed and approved in the Senate, there is no way we can win this war against the Gauls. They do not have a Senate. We need a commander who's passionate and skillful enough to lead the war effort swiftly and efficiently. And that man is you, Lurko? Vitellius Lurko may be consul, but that doesn't make him a skilled commander of legions. His experience in Warcraft is minimal. Honestly, I can only agree. He has amply demonstrated his skill and talent in military matters. If anyone, he should be the dictator. I understand the reasoning, but you do realize the dictator needs to be a consul to begin with, right? Then I shall go. I have no wish to fight another war, but it is better than sending this pretender. Your lies are shameless, Pompeius. You are desperate to be made dictator. My victories speak for themselves. I am best suited among us to prosecute this war. Then why don't we call you Rex, and bring back the old kingdom? Carto? What if I lead the war together with an experienced commander as my advisor? And take one of your equally incapable lackeys with you, how would that help? I shall lead a consular army into Gallia in command of one half of our military might, while the other half is controlled by someone who has absolutely no reason to like me. What do you say to that, heir of Lucullus? Will you join forces with me? After all, these men are right. I need the support and the experience of a commander as skilled as you. You will be working for Rome. It would be quite unwise to refuse. I can tell from your faces no one will oppose this idea. It sounds like a reasonable compromise. If anyone dislikes Lorco more than Kikoro right now, it is this man. That sounds fine to me. He has proven himself to be a reliable commander. Sure. What could possibly go wrong? I can see there is no sense in trying to have a civilized conversation about this. Very well. Have it your way, then. But we will not do this like animals. We still have to vote on it. If we execute this plan, it means Vitellius Lurko will be dictator for the duration of the Gallia campaign. 
More importantly, it means Rome is declaring war on Gallia. The war has already been declared. We're going to finish it. All those in favor of this solution to the Relatio? Oh good. Exactly where I want to be. Surrounded by 6,000 men loyal to our archenemy. Vitellius Lurco is the Consul of Rome. We're safe. At least for now. The word safe has far too much margin of error to be of comfort. <laughs> 